Okay, now we have come to a part where I think is the hardest of the whole heart. Um, pick up your heart and place it on the side. You will see that there are two beads in the center of um, the side of the heart. Now take um, a string and then a thread goes through these two beads. And make sure that they align in the center. It's a, I mean, the two beads align in the center of, of the thread. And now take, um, take, pick up a bead on each, si each side of the thread. And we cross on the left hand side. Like that. Take your left thread, pick up the next bead on the left, and take your right um, right thread. have one bead on the right and then the left thread take up one bead as well and you cross at the right bead and you see a little cross forming down here okay now take your right thread and pick up Um, the bead on the right hand side and pick up another bead the f as following the following bead on the perimeter And now pick up one bead on the right hand side, cross at this bead. You see another four beads pattern formed. Now take your right thread, pick up this next bead on the right. And pick up two beads on the right, and you cross at the second bead. Take your right and the left thread go through the next bead on the left and then pick up the next bead on the left again and pick up one bead on the left and you cross at this speed. Like so. So be finishing off with like um Hoban Chef be sewing the two sides together. Now take your right I mean left thread If you put your fingers inside the heart, it's easier to see. So the next one that goes on um, the unity thread through is this left bead. And take your left thread, pick up one bead, 
J two B. Pick up. Okay, to get that thread, pick two beads and cross at the second bead. Now, if you press this down, you will see the crosses and make it easier for you to determine what you need to do next. So now you need to go through this bead to make a cross. So take your left, uh, right thread and go, um, thread through this bead here. And now, in order to make another cross here, you need to thread through this bead. and add one more bead and do a cross. So add one more bead on the left and you cross this bead. So we form another cross. Look at it sideways. There's another cross. Okay, we are almost done. Now take your right thread, go through the next um, next bead on the right. Pick up two beads and cross that second bead. So you form another four, a pattern of four here. And take your right arm, um, the left thread, go through next left bead and one more time one more left bead and then pick up one bead Cross at this bead, and now you've done um, filling up all the gaps on the top. And take your left thread, go through this center bead, the one of the center bead on the left hand side. And bring your right thread and go through this bead, this bead, and this bead so that the two thread meet. You tie a knot, and that's it. If you want to make this be um, part puffier, before you close up um, the gap here, you want to you may want to um, put some beads inside for um, six millimeter uh, beads. I would put uh, ten millimeters um, bigger beads inside so that it will help retain um, the form. So now I'm just going to tie knot and restrain the part as much as possible and that's it.